So we're at the So You Think You Can Dance audition, Salt Lake City, 2011. We're ready to rock. To me, from like this high, how many couples are in Utah dancing? I don't. I've never seen the likes of it anywhere else in the United States. It's fabulous to come here and see so many young people dancing, and that the parents here seem to embrace the arts. I love it. <laughs> I can't see. Hip hop can you? I'm sure he would give it a royal effort, that wouldn't he? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> what a picture I'm getting right now. <laughs> I'm a very visual person. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing that one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I just can't say that. Is there like a power dance move that somebody can do that you say, if they pull this move off, they're in automatically? Uh, well, the, you know, the, the different styles may have different power moves, you know, when we talk about the power move, it, usually that means a break dancer, and usually it'll be something that we've never seen yet, because we see a lot of everything, you know, but there's still always somebody every season that comes up with some way that they did their body or did a trick that was so crazy to us that, I mean, I have to tell you, you know, I have a degree in physical education, I've studied the human body and have kinesiology anatomy and there's things that people do that that is not supposed to happen that did no that's not right you know that I don't know how they did that um, something's not right here they're double jointed they you know the people that are double jointed you can usually tell really quickly but there's people that do things they don't look double jointed they're still able to do some stuff that you you know yeah we're always hitting each other or screaming or something when something like that happens uh, somewhat dangerous, you know. How long do you think would it take you to say yay or nay when somebody gets up there? Five seconds, do you pretty much know? Yeah. It's pretty fast. Sometimes what we, we look for is if, it, it's very difficult, you know, in the first rounds when they're dancing that, and we only give them ten seconds because it's not to their music. We see if there's any kind of light going on there in their eyes or any kind of life in their body and then there's been some people that I fought for today. I was like, you know, I just want to see their solo. I think there's something interesting there. And, and sometimes I've been so pleasantly surprised that when they did their own music, I mean, it was so dynamic and we sent people straight to Vegas. You know, so, you know, some people at this point of the process, if they don't do something that we really like best, unfortunately some great dancers slip through the cracks at this phase, you know, it just happens. But they learn from the audition and the experience and hopefully next time, you know, don't waste time because that first 10, 15 seconds is so valuable in the beginning, it's crazy. To me, it's Jimmy Choo, but uh, Jimmy I Choo love said that. to me, thank you so much. They're really heavy though. The, um, the studs on them make them super heavy, so they're a bit like moon boots, oh, no. so you have to really work to pick them up. Yeah. So I'm turning my thighs at the same time. <laughs> Oh, I, I, what do I do when I'm at the vintage shopping? Good to shop. It's amazing. There's a, place, there's a place called Decades, which yes. is just around the corner from my hotel. So I went there yesterday afternoon and bought loads of different outfits for the show. So I'm going to get them all tailored and you'll see them, the Salt Lake City outfits. So tell me who makes more money, a judge or a host? Depends what judge you're talking about. <laughs> Depends what judge you're talking about, I would say. Because then there's a different question. You see involved in that, but it would depend which 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 judge you're talking about. I know who has a better wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I know who has more amazing I don't even shoes. Have past <laughs> what, what's the hardest thing about your job that nobody knows about? Yeah. The hardest. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff behind the scenes that we all have the best job in the world. But I'm sure you have. I do. I do have the best job in the world. For me, I, I love it. I mean, my whole thing is, I'm very lucky that I grew up in, in England doing English TV so I did three hours live every single week for 52 weeks a year so for eight years so basically any 
anything that could have happened, and I'm talking about anything, from me falling over to dropping a microphone to slash talking very, very yeah. inappropriately about groupies, Song has at some stage happened. So for me, I think other people might find that hard, but because I've had everything, and it's not because I'm any better than anybody else, but I've had it happen at some stage or another, so I know I can somewhere or another get out of it if I need to. And I think providing you do it with a certain element of charm and a little bit of decorum, I think that, that the audience kind of love it. I think it endears you to the audience too. Will we ever see you dance? We have. Yeah. I mean, this season you did that. You did that. <laughs> if I get through this season alive, I'll be happy. Um, no, I, I, I must be honest and say uh, it's three seasons ago now. I think I probably did it, uh, and and it killed me. <laughs> to be frank. I gave up smoking in two thousand and three. So I should have been okay, but oh, it killed me. I used to go to Debbie Allen. Um, that they um, took me through a, a tap routine with all of the kids. Every one of the kids outdanced me, no question. And I'm, it's not just me bull here. They were all better than me by a long way. Dancing from when I danced back in the 60s to how it is now, so vastly different. Um, it's much more athletic, gymnastic. So, uh, American tap compared to British tap is totally different as well. American tap is very down there and everything's in the ankles. Everything in Britain is very Irish and it's all up there. Uh, if you see Jimmy Cagney tap, it was all like that. <laughs> if you see Fred and the, uh, uh, the Nicholas Brothers, everything's sort of down there. You know, it's to totally different. So for me to do all of that, uh, yeah. I couldn't talk, I'd do about an hour. <laughs> Uh, it just, I was drenched. I thought, why am I putting myself through this? So no more I don't even now. have to work anymore. <laughs> uh, I love doing, we did a, a silly thing with uh, Mia Michaels. She choreographed One Singular Sensation and we went on a finale. And I think I danced eight bars. I was like that, nervous as hell, kept using the bathroom. Uh, but I loved that. It was just one of those come down, you know, look at them. But uh, no, I, I love it, but no, I, I get too nervous, I'm not very good. No. What does it mean to have Mary back this year? It's great. Uh, just great to have her back because of right, everything sure. she's been through, number one. Uh, and number two, she can't scream anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mary, to hear that. Um, uh, but number three, of course, because she's well uh, and delighted. Uh, but of course she's got the flu now, she's coughing over us, so I, I just wished um, she'd taken the next two days off. <laughs>